Is it time to kick someone out of your life? Has this person gone too far or are they affecting you negatively in a way where you are thinking, I might need to get rid of this person? Well, chances are, if you've had those thoughts, you are more than likely right. Often, we underestimate the power of the people around us and how much they influence and really impact us. Look, if your five best friends were all drug dealers that like to snort cocaine and, you know, spend their money on hookers, then likely you will end up as another one of those people. On the other hand, if your friends were all wealthy billionaires that are at their yacht, you know, just drinking the fanciest wine, you are likely to join them. You become the average of the people that you spend time with. And often, for many, many people, you spend a lot of time with a very few select of people. So maybe you have two really good friends, or even one really good friend, or a couple of family members that you're very close with. Those people are really the ones that will impact you the most. So if they believe that it's difficult to make money, or that it's extremely hard to find love, that finding your soulmate is a fairy tale and it'll never happen, or if they believe that it's really difficult to lose weight and being overweight is justified, then you will likely fall into those traps as well. If you want to change something in your life, of course, take self-responsibility and realize that it's your problem. But if you want rapid improvement, you will likely have to spend less time around the people that are locking you in place in that area. So if you're trying to lose that weight, probably spend a little less time around the friends that you have who like to go to fast food restaurants and eat until they throw up. On the other hand, if you're trying to make more money, avoid the people that are always saying, oh, I'm broke, there's not enough money, I can't get a job, it's impossible, the economy sucks, so on and so forth. Basically, use your common sense to realize who are the people that are really keeping my beliefs in place, keeping them firm, and maybe holding me back from really taking a leap in my life because I buy into the stories that they tell and the beliefs that they have. Remember, just because someone believes something very strongly doesn't make it true. See, some people will argue that the earth truly is flat and they completely believe it and it's the truth for them and this is what it is and this is reality and there's no way they could ever be wrong. But just because they believe it that strongly, you know that that's probably not true. And no matter how hard they argue, you're probably just gonna laugh at them. Well, what happens with more sensitive topics is sometimes we don't think that this person is crazy. We actually buy in because maybe our beliefs are similar and we haven't really examined what the true nature of that topic is. So in the case of someone being really passionate about religion in your household or in your family, it's likely that you'll fall into the trap of following that religion blindly just because you've been conditioned to do so. It was never your choice in the first place. It was never what you truly wanted, but you got pushed or pressured into it. Now, a lot of people resist that and they don't fall into it and they go the opposite way. Okay, that's those people. But for a lot of people, you buy into your friends' beliefs. You buy into your family's already set values and you don't create any of your own. So consider, do you need to take some time away, maybe, first of all, from being around some of these people? And then maybe it's time for a permanent shift. Maybe you need to move on. Maybe you need to change your inner circle. That's okay. Maybe you need to be alone for a while and just, you know, read books and watch good videos and just work on yourself. That's great too. Whatever might be the next stage for you, just keep in mind that the influences that you put around you or that you allow to be around you will impact you significantly. If they're telling you to study, you're likely going to go study. If they're telling you that money is difficult and it's hard to make money, then you're probably gonna struggle with money. If they tell you that it's easy to lose weight, then actually, you know, if you just follow this diet plan, it's gonna happen in no time, 
And those are the people that you spend a lot of time around and you go to the gym and you work out with them and those are your best friends, then you're gonna be in great shape in no time. Just know how powerful this really, really is. And so make an effort to adjust and make some changes. You don't have to be around the same people for the rest of your life just because you grew up with them or just because you know you feel like you owe them something. It doesn't have to be this way. You can reconsider, you can change your environment, you can change the people. And really, if you feel like somebody's not serving your evolution and your growth and your progress, maybe consider a little bit of time away. Maybe, just maybe, you need to be kicking them out of your life. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. And if you'd like to experience a real breakthrough and some massive progress in your life, sign up for coaching. It's in the bottom left of your screen right now. If you click on that, you'll go to my website and you can book a free consultation to get us started.